family. I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa, and I'm also the Creole Griotis. How y'all doing today? I'm doing fine here in Galveston, Texas, USA, counting my time until I go back to the Gambia. But yeah, guys, I'm going to enjoy my life while I'm here, one day at a time. I hope y'all are doing wonderfully wherever y'all are and that y'all are living in the now and not postponing your life until tomorrow because <laughs> tomorrow is not promised to anyone, guys. <sighs> I was watching some videos and thinking about what I wanted to talk about today. And I'm telling y'all, sometimes I'm just motivated by the ancestors to just come out here and say a little something before I go back in the house. And right now, it's our insect season. We just say mosquito season. Even if you spray yourself, the mosquitoes bite you anyway in Texas. But anyway, y'all, for right now, I'm okay. And I will limit myself out here. So, for now, I'll just say some of you guys be want to know some of the books that I collect. I don't necessarily read them like I should. Because <laughs> it seems like stuff gets in the way and you just don't finish reading your books. But anyway, here's one of the books that I got. Heeding the Ancestral Call. It says, A Collective Individual Journey Back to the Spiritual Basics. Back to the spiritual basics. And y'all, I do not know if I got it in Nigeria or where. I don't know where I bought this book. Because I've bought books between here and Nigeria. So, who knows, y'all. But anyway, it is one of my books in my collection. And I will read a little of it when I go back in the house. And this book... Since it still has a sticker on it, it says half price books. I know that's where I got it. And it's called The Way. So I used to research a lot about different religious movements. And before they started talking about Christianity or whatever, they used to just say The Way. The people that was following Yeshua. They would just say The Way. That he believed in The Way. So anyway... I will read a little of the way today. You see the arc there, y'all? So anyway, guys. And one more to be going on. The caste system. The origins of our discontent by Isabel Wilkerson. And it's about our caste system. Because <laughs> I see some people was talking the other day. Worrying about... Uh, somebody that was on somebody else's uh, channel and the doctor was of uh, Indian descent, you know, from India and they were saying she needed to worry about her own caste system <laughs> and I don't understand people, y'all, because the people that's in India when they was going through colonization the people treated them very similar to how they treated us here in the United States especially with them calling them all kind of uh, names that wasn't very nice. You know, even Little Black Sambo was actually uh, from there. I didn't know that until I actually bought the book and read the book and found out it was about uh, a character that was in India. You know, so anyway... Now I know. <laughs> and you should too. We should read a lot about other people's uh, experiences so we can understand that we have a lot of similarities and not fight so much about our differences and think how somebody else has advantages that we don't have. That part I understand. Instead of us worrying about how somebody else is getting more crumbs from the table, 
how about just building our own table and grow our own food, you know? Because me, I don't want to be anybody token anything. I've been that enough in my lifetime. And worrying about how somebody else is treated is a waste of my time. I just focus on how I'm treated and how I treat others. And I try to treat others like I want to be treated. This is one of the things I got in Nigeria a long time ago. It's pretty. And it has some imperfections. It got broken along the way. So I never put it up because it has those imperfections. But I kept it because it could inspire me to create something else. No matter what. Whether it's another, or whether it's a painting or something that will turn out to be used inside of a let's just say a quilt or something you know you just never know creativity is fluid y'all you know very fluid and I'm just up and moving about so I will be a moving target for the insects the mosquitoes but anyway y'all um, I just wanted to say as we try to decolonize our minds we have to be very aware of how we treat each other because somebody actually came into my house the other day and started talking about catholics in a derogatory way and it's like what's uncalled for that person didn't even understand that the very house they were in was owned by a woman who was Catholic all her life until her death, my mother. In fact, the majority of my family started off as Catholic because we Creole. And you know those French, they, they did uh, Catholicism. So if you was in Louisiana back in the day and your family was enslaved, yeah, you grew up with Catholicism. And I tell you, I have none uh, cousin and everything. And I remember her one day when I was talking to her on the phone, <coughs> she told me, Stephanie, you're a Catholic and you're a Catholic till you die. <laughs> Cause I was telling her that I had started going to a United Methodist uh, church because I wanted to get uh, the single parent support group, the support group that did not exist at the Catholic church that I was going to, you know? And she just couldn't understand that concept. But I remember because of them, I was taken to the library and introduced to a whole new world. I went to uh, light opera and everything. So I was exposed to a lot of different things because of the nuns. And I had a good education because of them. And when I went from uh, private school, which was Catholic school, to public school, I was advanced among a lot of the, the uh, children there. And so as I'm an adult now, I respect all people's rights to believe whatever they want to believe, y'all. We have a right of self-determination. Whatever religion we want to believe in or not believe in any at all. Whatever spiritual practices we uh, do or don't do is our own right. And I would never go in somebody's house, loosey goosey, loose lips saying derogatory stuff about someone's religion. Even if I'm talking to somebody and they say stuff about other folks' religions, I would tell them that everybody has a right to believe whatever they, they want. I'm not planning on converting to anything. I'm just a spiritual person. But you can believe me 
that I will not make fun of your religion. And I don't appreciate other folks saying negative stuff about anybody's religion either. You won't hear me laughing with them about it. And it just depends on what's going on, on if I will start saying stuff to them directly. I'll just make a video and know they gonna read it. But anyway, guys, it just depends because people need to know that it's not okay to just talk about somebody else's religion. It's not a joke, y'all. We all do have free will to believe what we want. But anyway, guys, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful rest of your day. And just remember, yes, I did start off Catholic, and I do not care who don't like it. That is their problem. That is part of my history. I'm never going to deny my beginnings. I'm never going to talk negatively about them. The, the religion in general, all religions, have been the basis of control of people. And awful things have happened in the name of religions. But that is not the individual people, y'all. Individual, individual people. We all have our own way of living within our groups. Culturally, we adapt a lots of things according to what's happened in our history. It's your story. So all you can do is live your life, live your story, and it's up to you to determine what comes next. And it's up to the next person to decide what comes next with their life too. So like I said, I will never deny my roots and I'm not gonna make no fun of it either. Never. I have relatives right now that's Catholic and they have every right to be Catholic and enjoy being Catholic. You know, I personally don't practice any particular anything. I am a spiritual person. I am a seeker. I research lots of different things in this world. So, and I've... <laughs> participated in lots of different groups, believe you me. And I've read lots of books. So it's not like I don't know, but I have choice. So anyway, guys, until next time, all I can say is, please, just think about things you say, especially when you're going to somebody else's house. <laughs> Try to just not say negative stuff about other folks religion especially when you've only been told something you've never practiced it so you don't even really know you just know because somebody told you something maybe in some class or another they told you negative stuff about other people's religions and what they believe but you don't really know what they really believe because you've never practiced it yourself but anyway y'all until next time, just checking in, just having my say on acknowledging everybody's rights to have their own say, their own history, their own belief system. Till next time, y'all. Peace, peace, power to the people, and I'm out, y'all. Bye.